been reported this week that the soccer team, of which your principal owner, uh, has some disgruntled players and former players. Uh, yep. They're complaining about conditions, working conditions. Uh, one sports columnist compared it to a sweatshop. Uh, I saw that. What, what can you tell the public about your soccer club? Listen, I put a statement out, Michael, on Wednesday night, which I think speaks to both why we got in this to begin with, uh, and that remains the driving reason why we are 12 years after we had the first conversation, which is it wasn't fair that even though we had one of the top one or two, and we still do, women's teams nationally in the world, we had no women's top flight professional league. And so we got in there early because we didn't think that was right. Uh, we knew we wouldn't make any money ever. In fact, we've lost a, a ton of money on this. But that's what was never the reason why we were in this. It was to create the best women's professional league in the world. And I'm proud to say that we've been the longest serving owners uh, through, I think, three iterations of leagues. Um, and we won the first league title, I have to say. We're having a very tough year this year. So those are the, that's the, the context. It, the stories that have come out are completely unacceptable. And at the end of the day, the buck stops with me and my fellow owner. We take this very seriously. It's not tolerable. It will not go on. Uh, in some cases, it's from the past, and it's already been corrected. In other cases, it's in the process of being corrected. It was already. And in some cases, we still have wood to chop, that it's intolerable, it's unacceptable. The buck stops with ownership. Um, I'm proud of our intentions. I'm proud of, of why we're doing this uh, and why we continue to do it, but I'm not proud of the, those stories. And so we're running each one of them to the ground. What steps have you taken or are taking? Well, there was a meeting. My fellow owner uh, has already met with a representative of the players and had a very constructive meeting. From that, there was a very specific list of follow-up items, Brent, and I'm, when I say specific and granular, I mean literally if the grass isn't cut by Monday at 9, practice will be in X as opposed to Y, uh, other conditions related. Um, we've clearly had very explicit, specific conversations with our management team, both on the field and off, and as I mentioned a minute ago, we're having a miserable year off on the field. Uh, which I hope we get better at, but, but there's no excuse whatsoever to not correct the things that are off the field, and we're on that. Have you always taken 